Hey chicas, welcome back to my channel. As my husband would say, hey chicas. <laughs> okay, so anyway, I am going to start off with this Smashbox uh, primer. So I'm going to go ahead and apply that all over my face. Um, mainly in my problem areas, which is my T-zone. That's the, those are the places that I get oiliest, oiliest um, the most. So I started off there. And now I am going to go ahead and speed through my brows. I'm using this color pop pencil and the color brunette. I'm just going to go ahead and outline my brows and fill them in slightly. I'm going for like a more natural brow look today. I'm adding those little strokes in the beginning of the brow. Okay, and now I'm going in with this tart shape tape concealer and I'm just going to clean up my brows this is in the color medium I went ahead and used some concealer to uh, prime my eyes this time instead of using the eyeshadow primer um, and now I am using the Laura Mercier setting powder to set my eyes so that I can go ahead and go in with my eyeshadow alright so the eyeshadow palette that I'm going to use today is the Shaney cosmetics palette I think this is a hundred color palette I'm really not sure but anyway I'll put the name down below I'm going to go in with this kind of tannish looking color as a transition shade it's like a light brownish gold tannish looking color but anyway I'm gonna put that as my transition shade Now I am going in with this green color. It's more like a hunter green color. Um, it really does match with the green that I have on, so I'm going to say hunter green. I'm going to apply this color all over my lid, and these are the only two colors that I'll be using for this look today. Okay, so I forgot to apply my um, brow gel after I did my brows, but this is just a brow gel from Sonia Kashuk, and I was having a full-blown conversation as I was doing it. Okay, so this is my first time using this NYX, uh, what is this, NYX uh, Total Control Foundation, their new foundations that they have. This is in the color Golden, and I really do like this foundation. It's very liquidy and runny, but it gives you a pretty good coverage. So if you're looking at areas that need a little bit more coverage, do exactly what I did. I just applied a little more there, and I blended it out. I really do like this foundation. It's kind of orangey right here on camera, but you know, I'll make it work. Um, so I'm gonna go back in with my sh Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and just apply that in the normal places and blend it out. Okay, so I am going back in with the Laura Mercier setting powder and just applying that in all the places that I put my concealer. To set the rest of my face, I'm gonna use my Tarte Amazonian Clay Powder in the color Light. Thank you. 
going back in with that hunter green color I am going to add this to my bottom uh, lash line I am not using any eyeliner for the waterline just the eyeshadow and now I am going to use my Tarte Man Eater Mascara I am not using falsies today I am letting my eyelashes grow out and you will see a video about that next week stay tuned all right it is time for a blush I am going in with this Avon blush in the color coral myth this is one of my favorite blushes I really do like it it has the right amount of orange peach and pink I really do like it it brings color back to my face um, and now I am going to use my Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil. I think this is in the color medium or light to medium or something like that. I'm just going to contour with it. Just a very light contour. And I'm going to blend that out and then I am going to contour my nose. Just to let you guys know, I have on this Michael Kors hat because it is freezing out here and I'm going to my daughter's award assembly. It's raining cats and dogs and it's just too dat gum cold. So I am wearing this hat and my hair is in a braid. Okay, so now I am going to use my Wild and Radiant palette by BH Cosmetics to, um, as a highlight. I'm using this color down below. It's kind of a goldy, bronzy color. I'm going to use that as my highlight for the cheeks, for my cupid bow, on the tip of my nose, a little bit on the forehead, and a little bit on the chin. For lips today, I am going to use my Revlon Matte Lipstick. It's in the color Pink Pout. Um, this is pink, but it can come off as a little bit nudish, so I really do like this color. And on top of that, I'm going to use my Revlon Lip Gloss in the color Supernatural. a little bit more of this highlight on my cupid's bow just to give it a little pop and i am done my friends i really do hope that you like this look go ahead and spray yourself down so you don't look like a powdery mess um so i'm done i hope you like the look if you do give me a thumbs up leave me a comment subscribe to my channel i really would appreciate the love and i will see you guys next week thank you bye Every red, every red, every red. Uh, every red, red.